Right, today I'm going to take a look at this car stereo uh, player. It's a media player that can play uh, music, video, and um, let's see, it can play a lot of video files. Uh, say AVI DFX X video MPEG4 WMV uh, H263 MPEG1 MPEG2 so that's a lot of video files that it can play and uh, it's got uh, SD card and USB port and the SD card it says it can, can support up to 8 gigabyte but I've tried with the 64 gigabyte SD card and uh, it will read just fine with a 64 gigabyte card so I haven't tried 128 gigabyte yet but uh, if you have another 64 gigabyte down here it's a USB port you can also put in your 64 gigabyte USB drive and you can have a total of 128 gigabyte of uh, music and video and that's a lot of music and video that you can cram into here and it's got a 4.1 inch LCD screen so the screen is very nice too and all this for $36 I bought on eBay and it sounds too good to be true so I just bought it anyway so let's take a look at it so it comes in this box with the um, couple wires to install and a remote control even has a remote control how cool is that you got a manual and that's pretty much it on the back here let me see let me show you on the back here you got a 10 amp fuse these two will be connected to uh, these two connectors and it's even got RCI connectors so you can connect your backup camera in it and displayed on the LCD screen. This one here is the uh, for the antenna. On the front, we got the volume on, off, and eight buttons. We'll go over that in a little bit after I install this. Now let me show you what I got here. Um, this is my old stereo. I got a Toyota Corolla by the way and I'll just put it in here like so my old bezel is a little bit wider than this new stereo so I'm gonna have to buy a plastic adapter I mean plastic cover on the front otherwise it's gonna be two holes on both sides of the stereo but that's, uh, that's gonna be later the wire installation is uh, simple, I guess. Plug this wire on the back of the unit, and then I have to buy this wire adapter. This I got from Walmart for about ten dollars. So this wire allows you to plug in the wire in the car, plug it in and then it's got exposed wire and um, on the back here and then all you have to do is you match up all the color with the new stereo um, I'm just gonna use a wing nut and then tie up all the wire together it should be good to go the uh, reason why I bought this is because I don't want to cut the wire in my car so in the car it's got a couple connectors that originally plug in the original stereo on the back here this two connector here and it doesn't match with the new um, stereo completely different uh, connector so that's why I have to use an adapter or I have to cut the wire in my car and then uh, wire them directly to my new stereo but I don't want to cut the wire in my car this will allow me to keep the wire 
and uh, make the installation easier, a lot easier. Now let me show you what I got here. I got the Walmart wire yeah, connected to the wire in the car. <clears throat> so now all I have to do is to uh, use a wing nut to connect this wire that exposed to the new wire coming from the back of the controller. This wire and uh, should be good to go. Alright, let me show you the, the wiring here. They are basically uh, two connectors. And the top connector is from the stereo itself, the new stereo. The top connector has got eight wires. These are basically speaker connectors. As you can see here, we've got four colors, purple, four pairs. Purple, white, white here, gray, and green. And each pair has got stripe, and the, the other one does not have stripe. So for example, this green wire is solid green, this one is stripe green. Same with the other colors. So these are speaker wires. We got here on the second connector we have black, red, orange, blue, and pink. Black is ground, red is 12 volts power. Yellow is also 12 volt, but for memory. So it's for the unit to memorize its location. So next time you turn it on, it will be the same. Blue is the power antenna and pink is parking sensor. So most cars usually don't have these two. Most cars don't usually use these two wires. I put a hit shrink to protect the wire. Right, I'll show you what I got here. The adapter go to the wire of the car back there and then it goes out to connect to my wire coming from the uh, stereo all connected by the wing nut so it's very quick and easy install. Um, all I gotta do now is just push it in there. That's pretty much it. Alright, so I just try to put it in and I made a small cardboard box down here, but it doesn't fit. There's a big hole on the front, on the right, on the left. Doesn't look good at all. So I went ahead and ordered this. This will fit perfectly in there, so let me try to put it in this plastic case and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just finished installing and uh, this is what it looks like with the plastic casing. It looks pretty good. Everything matches. Right, so let's see what we got here. So this stereo can play um, music and video and um, it plays most music mp3 uh, uh, file uh, WMA and many other uh, music files. It also plays a uh, video on display on this screen and uh, I think you can play mp4 format WMV MOV video files and that's the main reason why I bought this unit and it has an SD slot here uh, I tried with a 64 gigabyte slot and my SD card is actually a micro SD card with the uh, SD adapter and it uh, works just fine and it reads really fast. So when I put it in, let me show. Let's turn it on. We boot up, takes like about uh, four or five seconds to boot up. And when it when it's on, this is when it's off. So the screen always 
display the clock even when it's off so you cannot turn off the screen so when you insert the SD card it will read really fast boom and then uh, it will read uh, from ever whatever the last time that you turn it off at so it remembers where it uh, is stopped at the last time also it can also read the uh, USB drive so you just put in your USB drive here and uh, you read off of the USB also there's also auxiliary port on this side you can plug in your phone or your mp3 player whatever that is just plug it in here and um, it's also let's see click here we'll go to radio and it can play FM radio only there is no AM radio also when in radio mode it also display the date and the time which I will have to adjust and uh, let's adjust the date and time right now so let's first go to you click let's see uh, how do I go to the menu right click here we we'll go back to music and if I click here we we'll go to menu and let's see we go to calendar press 5 enter we we'll go to the date and when you press 5 again it will display this screen where you can adjust the date so you have to press 5 one more time okay you see it lights up at number 2 2015 here so you have to press this button to go to the last digit and then adjust to 16 All right keep going today's date is I think it's August so you adjust the number by turning this volume knob okay August 20 8 okay press enter no oh, wait press this button to go down mode 12 hour I like 12 hour mode we we'll display AM or PM go down here we are gonna adjust the time time right now is 4 56 p.m. you see my clock down here 4 56 p.m. so say 12 3 4 okay 57 now 57 a.m. p.m. press enter will save there you go now it changed to 4 57 p.m. so that's how you change the date on this unit it's pretty tricky I have to spend probably around 15 20 minutes to figure that out so we got this clock here and there's only one kind of clock um, there's no other choices I wish it would have some other choices like a regular round clock with a dials or some but uh, the digital clock is the only clock available there's no other choices so let's turn it on so we got FM radio now we got one two three four five six so we got six memory channels so when you press this button 
you search for a channel and then if you want to put that in memory you press the number okay this number from one to six right? to remember the channel so say you want to remember this as number one press and hold now this will turn blue so now it's number one let's see so let's say you want to save this as number two press and hold number two that will change the blue it means you remember that for number two you notice here on the top here we have the clock that's been changed to the current uh, date and time the current correct date and time All right. So now from the FM radio, you want to switch to play music or video, it's a bit tricky because this button here just for the uh, memory of the channel and the only button that you can switch is this power button. So you have this, press this power button, okay, you say power slash M, I think M for many or something, but that's the only button for you to switch to music or video so press the button so switch to music unfortunately I cannot play any sound because of the uh, copyright laws and uh, let's see there are many options you can choose uh, for the sound classical, pop or rock or you can just uh, turn it off I'll show you that later, actually we'll show you right now uh, let's see, press this button on the knob you see adjust balance right? so go, let me see press again, go to another one, press again just equilibrium I think so this let's try again EQ so now you can choose pop or off or classical or rock so I prefer rock to me it sounds a little bit better so let's go with that And the sound is pretty decent. It says um, uh, on the man on the manual it says 50 watts per channel, but I doubt it's 50 watts. But uh, it it sounds pretty nice. Uh, it's not bad. On the screen it displays quite a bit of information uh, of the song. Um, on the top here is the title of the song. Down here I think that's the uh, the artist. Here is the album, I think, name of the album. Down here is the time when uh, it's playing. That's the length of the song. And that's the rate where it plays the song. That's the size in megabytes of the song. So there's a lot of information is being displayed on the screen. Alright, so from playing music you want to switch to playing video press this button up here see number four and there's a music and then there's a there's a video icon Just click on it switch to video play all right it will remember from the last time uh, it was playing so if you click number five it will pause and um, let's see if you want to see the list of the uh, video files in your SD card click number six it will display a list unfortunately uh, it displayed the list of the video but does not display the list of the audio so let's say um, let's try this one so let's say you're playing audio and you want to see the list of the songs 
uh, it does not display the list of the song so you have to go you have to press forward or back uh, to find a song that you need to find but uh, this is all this uh, it displays for music but uh, for video it does display a list so you can choose you can choose a list of the, uh, the vi a video file and let's go to the menu let's see first we got FM oh, if we choose FM let's just go to FM so let's see what we got here let's switch to Switch to that, and let's go back to the menu. So from this screen, you can go to menu by pressing number six. Okay, so we'll go to music. Let's enter. Oh, we will go to music, and let's see. So I guess you go to movie. Press enter. We we'll go to movie, and it can also play photo file I think we press enter but there's no picture in my SD card so there's nothing there Explorer let's see what this is SD card oh there you go so through the file Explorer you can uh, find the the music and the folder you can see it display all the fold the, the folders here that I store the files and also these songs I store in the main uh, uh, folder of the, the disk but I also made smaller uh, smaller folders so I can store other songs too so that's that's nice I didn't know that so let's see let's go to one of my folders here I got the Richard Clayderman uh, to this folder so these are the songs inside the folders so up and down you can choose whatever the song that you want to find so that's pretty nice let's, see, let's go back okay so this will go back let's go back so it's a show SD card so if you have a USB drive here it will show USB drive and you can choose and you can explore the files that way too and so let's go next to uh, calendar so calendar will allow you to adjust the date and time of the unit which we just did so let's go back auxiliary in so this is when you have something to plug in this uh, audio jack next go to setting there's not much here in the setting only language let's see what kind of language we can choose Chinese Espanol Portuguese Ruski which is Russian and hmm, what is that? Is that Japanese? not sure so there's just a few languages that you can choose from product info okay we'll show the software version all right not much info there factory default so if you wanna go back to factory default setting just click on that output NTSC let's see what we got pal or NTSC okay ketone so ketone when you first use the unit uh, ketone is on so every button you press will play a, a note sound which is a little bit annoying for me so I turn it off and let me see how I can turn it on to show you what it sounds like pretty annoying Yeah, it sounds like that. And if you turn up your volume, it will be pretty loud. Like that. So 
So let's turn it off. There you go, it's off. And you can adjust the backlight setting. Uh, different colors too. Auto means white, I think. Red, green, blue. You can see this color here start to change. Uh, also, there's an LED on the knob, on the volume knob too. Let's see, yellow. So you turn to yellow. Uh, that's purple. You can see the backlight here is purple. White and auto. I think auto is also white. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the um, setting. Let's go back. And that is pretty much it for the menu. So overall, this is a very good uh, media player. Um, it can place many video and audio files. And my main reason to buy this unit is to play video files. And the fact that it can store 64 gigabyte uh, for the SD card, and also probably. 64 another 64 gigabyte down here in the USB port you can store you can store a lot of video uh, a lot of uh, movies uh, TV shows or whatever a lot of video files that you can play and the screen is bright clear and bright and the quality is pretty good you can see very good quality and it is very bright and let me show you how to adjust the brightness if you click on this knob here and fade no equilibrium we went through that adjust loud and also this one is to adjust the loudness of the, uh, the sound only on or off that's it volume brightness so here's the brightness you can go on the way up or down so if you're driving at night you should turn this down because this is when uh, when you turn all the way up it's really bright it's so bright that um, uh, during the day when the, the sun is shining right on the unit itself um, the screen is still very clear and there's no clear or, or anything like that it still display really really fine uh, pictures so let's see let's go to the rest of these uh, options here volume brightness contrast you can adjust the contrast saturation we we here we uh, that's pretty much it. Alright. So for $36, uh, you can't go wrong with this. Um, and also, there are also some other units that looks pretty much the same. Uh, with the same layout, the same button. You know, it looks a lot the same to this unit. But it also has Bluetooth. This unit here does not have Bluetooth. And because I don't need to use Bluetooth, so um, I didn't buy the one with Bluetooth. But it only it's only a few dollars more. I would say around if this one is thirty six, the one with Bluetooth is around forty dollars. So um, that is really good price uh, for uh, for the money. I mean, for for what uh, you can get from this uh, unit. Alright, so there you have it, the uh, ch cheap Chinese uh, M uh, uh, media player, but it's very good. I've been using this unit for the last, uh, I think, a few weeks now, three to four weeks. Uh, when I first installed, it's got the holes, you know, it doesn't fit, so you saw in the video, it's got holes on the sides, and I have to wait in order this plastic cover before I finish this uh, video review but I've been using it for like three or four weeks now and uh, it's been working fine no problem at all and also one last thing here when you turn it off 
who display the clock and if your car do not have a clock uh, you know this will be a nice thing to have I mean you can use it as a clock also alright folks and uh, that's all I have for now until next time thanks for watching